In this video, we're going to be looking at three coins with similar designs, but that are worth significantly different amounts. We've got three pennies here, and Neil, Managing Director of Baldwin's, is going to have a look and explain to me, who doesn't really know very much about English pennies, I must confess, just why there is such a discrepancy in the values. So these three young head pennies, often known as the bun head, um, all three are very similar condition, all uncirculated, have some lustre. Um, from the obvious side, why would they be worth different amounts? However, we have one here that's worth £200, one here that's worth £750, and one here worth 3,500. Now for us, we get a lot of calls about Victorian pennies. Why have we seen one on your website that's 1,000 pounds? Why is mine only worth 100? Well, in simple terms, um, quite often it's something as simple as the date. And it's how many were minted and how rare the coin is. So let's start with the cheapest one, this one here. What is so special about this? I mean, even that is more valuable than your standard. Yeah. Victorian pennies. So, so this is the cheapest coin, 1862. It's a very common date. The reason it's still £200 is it's good condition. Now, if that came in and it was in fine condition only, which is a very poor condition, very worn, very rubbed, you'd be talking pounds, maybe five pounds at most for intrinsic value, um, but not rare at all. And the one in the middle, what's so special about that? That's, that's 750 pounds. The first one was what, 220? Yeah. So the one at 750, what, what makes that special? So, so now we're getting to the point where dates become scarcer. So although, although not super rare, the 1865 is a scarcer date and it's much scarcer than 1862. Um, it's good condition, again, that helps. Um, and it, it's just a better coin. Right, that makes sense. Yeah. Quality and uh, relative scarcity. Relative scarcity, but, but that's the point. Compared to the last one, presumably this one blows the other two out of the water yeah. in terms of relative. So 1869 is a key date in the Bunhead series. There's not many. Um, the only rarer one is 1864, which this being three and a half thousand and 1864 would perhaps be 4,000. So it's a little bit rarer. But again, the 69 is one of the key dates and they didn't make many of them at all. We can't give an exact mintage because when they did records of Royal Mint, they'd do it at the end of the year and it could incorporate numbers from the previous year. Um, so, so it's hard to gauge, but over the years, people have monitored how many times dates have turned up. 1869 is very rare. Right, so the chances of finding one of those in, in say, one of those bags that we get in of just miscellaneous... Very bags. unlikely. Normally, in the bags of pennies, it would be full of, say, 1862s, 1860s, 1861s. Um, the, the chances of a 69 is not likely. Maybe one time out of 100, there will be a 69 in there, and it probably wouldn't be in as good condition as this. Um, unlike the other dates, a 69 still has value in very low condition, where it could still be worth 40, 50 pounds, but, and that's the sort of minimum price. So it's value. still worth looking out for them, even yeah, if they're not definitely. amazing condition? Definitely. So that's three pennies of Victoria. To the untrained eye, they look pretty much identical, um, but as we've seen, the condition is a factor, uh, but most importantly, the date. The date. The but date really is need, key. But you really need both of those. To, to make a valuable penny. 